The focus of this lesson is on using the distance formula to find the distance between two points on a Cartesian coordinate plane. So our two points are negative 2, 3, and 0, 4. So you start off by labeling your points. You, you label one of the ordered pairs x sub 1, comma, y sub 1. And then you label the other x sub 2, comma, y sub 2. And it technically doesn't matter. You could have swapped those. You could have named the first ordered pair negative 2, 3, x sub 2, y sub 2, and then the second one, x sub 1, y sub 1. It wouldn't make any difference, um, as long as they get the same subscript um, within the ordered pair. So then we're going to go ahead and work on finding the distance of those two ordered pairs. And we're going to use our distance formula, which is stated here. The distance between two points P and Q is the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. So what I would do is I would start off by writing kind of the skeleton of that formula, which is the square root. And then you have a quantity squared. And it's a quantity where you're taking the difference between the x values. And then you're adding that quantity to another quantity where you're taking the difference between the y values and then squaring. So that's the skeleton of the formula. Those are pieces that are always present. And then what I would do from there is I'd fill in it, who's your x sub 1 and your y sub 1 and your x sub 2 and your y sub 2. So it starts off and it says, well, you should take your x sub 2 minus your x sub 1. Well, my x sub 2, the way I have it written, is 0. And my x sub 1 is negative 2. So I need to subtract off a negative 2. And then for the second quantity, it's y sub 2 minus y sub 1. Well, my y sub 2 is 4. And my y sub 1 is positive 3. So I'm subtracting off a positive 3. So just careful with signs. That's usually uh, the point of difficulty with this formula. So then you have the square root of, go ahead and simplify your quantities. 0 minus a negative 2 is 0 plus 2, which is just 2. So this is 2 squared plus 4 minus 3 is 1, so it's 1 plus 1 squared. And then go ahead and simplify that further. 2 squared is 4, because 2 times 2 is 4. And then 1 squared is 1 times 1, which is just 1. So we're adding 4 to 1. And we get the square root of 5. So the distance between those two points, negative 2, 3, and 0, 4, is a square root of 5. Now let's go ahead and work on getting the midpoint of a line segment. So suppose you have the same two points, negative 2, comma 3, and 0, 4, and you want to find the point directly in the middle of those two points. Well, there's a formula for it. And basically, the formula says is you take the average of the x-coordinates and you take the average of the y-coordinates. And so, Whoever your x sub 1 is and your x sub 2 is, those are your x coordinates. And what you need to do is add those together and then divide by 2. And then the, the same thing for the y coordinates. Add them together and then divide by 2. And then the ordered pair that's produced for the x and the y is your midpoint. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of write that down as far as a formula is concerned. So you're going to get an ordered pair in the end because it's a midpoint you know that you're going to have your x-coordinate added to your other x-coordinate and divide by 2. And you're going to have your y-coordinate added to your other y-coordinate divided by 2. Well, my x-coordinate is negative 2. My other x-coordinate is 0. It doesn't matter which way you do the order of those addings because addition is commutative. And then do the same thing for the y's. So the y values are 3 added to the y value of 4. So you get negative 2 plus 0 divided by 2 and 3 plus 4 divided by 2. So then you just have to simplify each of those um, expressions. And we have negative 2 plus 0 is negative 2. 
divided by 2. And then we have 3 plus 4, which is 7, divided by 2. But negative 2 divided by 2 is a negative 1. And 7 divided by 2, you could leave it like that if you'd like. You could make it a mixed number if you like. You could make it a decimal if you like. I'll go ahead and make it a mixed number. 2 goes into 7 three times with a remainder of 1, and your denominator was 2. So it's negative 1, comma, 3 and a half. And again, you could have kept it as negative 1, comma, 7 halves. That's with an improper fraction. Or if you want to do a decimal, negative 1, comma, 3.5. Those are all equivalent um, solutions for the midpoint.